Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Michael the Ark with Let's Play Gaming Entertainment. Today, by request, I am on Hunting Simulator 2, and I'm here to show you my method for making money in this game. The first thing that you should do is if you are just starting the game, people will tell you take the Cougar license. I do not take the Cougar license. I take the Moose license. And let me explain this. With the Cougar license, you're going to spend most of your time out on boring Pawnee Meadows. It is the one place that you can really find Cougars, but you've got to get kind of closer to them because, for me anyway, the game is still not shooting center. And if I try to take a long shot on them, it's just guesswork. I hardly ever get a good shot on them. So... I take the moose license. It is much easier to get them to come into you and they spook less. And also they, they'll get pretty close and then you can pop them and it, it's very easy to take them out. So I suggest the moose license and I do have the bear hunter pack. So I have black bear and grizzly unlimited as well. So these are my three choices. If you want to take cougar and you, then you can still hunt cougar, uh, there on Pawnee Meadows, or you can hunt it on uh, Roosevelt Forest as well. So it is a good license to have. They do give about, I'm going to say 36 to 3,800 per kill, whereas the moose, I think, is about, I think it's like 43 to 4,500 per kill, depending on if it's young, mature, adult, whatever. Uh, with the bears, the black bears a little bit less than um, the grizzly I think but they're both about the same as the cougar I believe so as for weapons I suggest going in and picking out some rifles the first rifle that I would suggest if you want to do long range hunting is the 85 carbon wolf get it in 338 the next rifle i would absolutely suggest and i actually recommend it higher than the 85 carbon wolf is the model 94 takedown this is a beast in this game it will kill things a lot quicker you need to be closer but it will kill things quicker so i would say model 94 takedown and then the 85 carbon wolf and then go crazy on the other big guns as for a smaller caliber gun i go with the model 70 extreme weather i have tested both of them i don't know why they would be different in any way but this one here the coyote light to me does not seem as accurate as the extreme weather I could be just have it all in my head. It's probably exactly the same, performs exactly the same. But to me, I have better luck with this one. So one of the Model 70s is going to be your best bet. Now, that does not go with the 85s. The Carbon Wolf is a different gun than all of the other 85s. It does not work the same way. It has a smaller clip. And it is a longer uh, shooting rifle. It has a, a longer accuracy. It is much easier to take longer shots and actually hit. But you do not have to know about where to aim with it. Another option for you is to go over here and pick up one of these. Uh, any of the ones that are in 223. So there's some that are 308, and then there are some that are 223. Uh, pick your favorite color and have at it. Get one that's 223 to start with, I would say. The 308, I mean, it's fine. The 223 is fine, but they're a shorter range, but they have a huge clip, and you can carry a lot more ammo with you. The next thing that you want to look into, if you, if you want a shotgun, I highly recommend going all the way down 
and picking up either this one, the XSP or <clears throat> the SXP field, or Waterfowl or Black Shadow. One of those, okay, one of the pump actions, or the SX for composite black shadow. These are the best shotguns that I I feel for hunting geese and duck and stuff like that. Uh, you're just going to have an easier time with these because you don't have to reload as much. These here are fun. I love the look of that one, but it's slower to reload and I like the reload better on these others. Now I'm going to say this one here, the semi-automatic, I think has a little bit of a faster reload and I prefer to use it for its performance over the others most of the time. Looks wise, I like that one and that one though. Now the next thing that you want to do is go all the way down and pick up two of the $750 scopes, credits, we'll call them credits. So I use the Mill Cross and the 3A Mill Plex. Those are my two favorites because they have the, the lines and they can absolutely help you aim at longer distances. Next thing that you want to do is go to items. Now, I would highly suggest for Roosevelt Forest getting one of these two here. The, either the Nitro 1800 6x24 or the Prime 1700 6x24. I also use the Fusion Binoculars Rangefinder 12x50. All of these are actually rangefinders where the rest of them are not. So they are absolutely my choices. The next item that you want to get and the only other items you should really worry about, in my opinion, are collars. You want to start with the moose collar and the predator collar. From there, get your deer and your elk collar. And unless you're hunting geese or pheasant or duck, then you don't need any of the others. So which ones out of these, though, would you use? The pheasant collar, just grab it to have it and you can use it no matter where you're at it will draw them out to you i highly recommend the short goose collar and the short duck collar this makes them land on water so you have a much easier target to shoot at if you want to shoot them out of the air all you have to do is get the long goose collar or the long duck collar make sure you stand back from the edge of the water because if you shoot one of them over the edge of the water and you do not have a retriever then you are not going to be able to pick them up so again moose predator deer elk and then the others whatever you want at that point just to show you what the others are these are basically wind powders, which is kind of crazy that they even have these in here. Um, these just show you which direction the wind is blowing, but you can tell which direction the wind is blowing if you sit and watch the particles floating through the air. So this is really not needed. Besides that, you have scent killer and I just try not to hunt into the direction the wind is blowing. Also, then you have scent lures. Go ahead and get these if you want, if you think that that's how you would want to hunt. Uh, I personally don't use scents at all. So, the next thing that you definitely want to make sure that you have is a retriever. Pick your favorite uh, you can also get a pointer and you start with the beagle. Uh, I would highly suggest taking the beagle um, and leveling him up, then buying one of your retrievers and then buy the pointer. 
Uh, you don't need to have three different retrievers because you can't use all of them at one time. It would be very nice if you could. But if you want to have your dog go out and get the ducks, the geese, or anything that lands in the water that you cannot walk out and get, you've got to have a retriever. Now let's talk clothing. What you want to do is go through and find anything. You want to have something that is for each weather situation. So there is normal, cold, rain, and hot. And what you want to do is try to find anything that has a very... Uh, with visibility says low that is your biggest thing so that is honestly the best one to have uh it kind of stinks because it looks horrible but i'm okay going with one of the other hats as for all of the other clothing absolutely make sure that you're buying stuff that says low visibility you have a little bit of all kind of stuff in here uh just to sh show a little bit of it The last thing in here is backpacks. Now, I absolutely don't see the point of having either one of these top two at all. Uh, they give you two extra item spots. Go for one of the two bottom ones. You're going to get one extra weapon slot and four extra item slots. It is very imperative to my hunting style to have one of these two bottom ones. Pick your favorite and go with that. Okay, so we are here in our weapon room, and I have one of everything in the game that you can get, and let me show you what we are using right now. The loadout that I would suggest for going out into Roosevelt Forest, take your Model 94 takedown and take a good scope for it. Now, what we're going to do is actually put it here in the second slot. So, to show you how this works, if you already have it equipped. And now, it's actually, it switches them out. So, I'm going to change the scope to this one. And for the top weapon, I am going to take... the 85 Carbon Wolf. And for the scope, we're going to use the 3A Milplex. Now, if you want to hunt something that is a smaller animal, say a cougar, then take the appropriate gun for that instead of the Carbon Wolf. I would put the uh, the takedown is your number one weapon. It doesn't matter wherever you want to put it. Um, as for items, this is how I have mine set up. The first is the rangefinder. Second is deer collar. Elk collar for the third. Fourth is moose. Fifth is predator collar. And then sixth, I actually have a shorter uh, range rangefinder binoculars of uh, I guess their binoculars are a monocular. I'm not sure what they're called. But that is my loadout. And now we are ready to go out there. And first things first, we want to go over here and look at our dog and pick a dog that will be good for the hunt. If we're going to hunt moose and bear, I'm going to take uh, the pointer most of the time because she doesn't make he or she does not make as much noise. Now you want to come over here to the door and look and see what your weather is. Then go dress accordingly. For me, 90% of the time, 99% of the time, the weather is normal. I always hunt in the morning. I've yet to hunt in the afternoon at all, and it works out just fine for me. You can go in and make sure that you have your licenses set up properly and that you do have them. At that point, just 
hit select on Roosevelt Forest and head out. <laughs>